If you travel, work remotely, or care about VPN privacy, the new GL iNet Slate 7 might be your next essential gadget. As someone who's configured a bunch of these, I can confidently say this is the most powerful and feature-packed travel router I've seen. So let's break it down why. The Slate 7 is similar in size to previous models, but it feels more durable and well-built. It has two 2.5 gigabit per second Ethernet ports, which are configurable, so you can have dual LAN or dual WAN, depending on your needs. This router supports the latest Wi-Fi 7 standard, features like multi-link operation and higher modulation rates, but it operates only on two bands, the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz bands. The 5G band can deliver up to 2.8 gigabits per second, while the 2.4G can only deliver 688 megabits per second. Now, as far as real-world coverage, I tested the coverage in my three-floor home, and the Slate 7 was set up in my office on the third floor, and then I was always I was all the way in the basement, and I was able to still get at least half the speed that I normally get, which is pretty impressive through two floors of structure. I also took it outside, and I had to walk about 110 feet away before the signal dropped completely. Now in that range, I could probably provide solid internet coverage to at least seven of my neighbor's homes for a travel router. This is pretty wild. GLI.net uh, delivers with this particular router, and I love that it comes with an adapter and multiple plugs that can fit into th multiple different outlets. So if you're in a hotel, Airbnb, or cabin space, uh, this is perfect for people who are traveling. Now, out of the box, the Slate 7 supports WireGuard up to 540, 540 megabits per second, uh, OpenWire VPN, a Surfshark, MultiVad, IPVanish, HideMe, and over 30 VPN providers. This is also great for uh, people who like, like to travel on a cruise, for example. I recently got back from a Disney cruise and they're trying to charge me $46 per device per day. And I, I honestly wish I had this with my Disney Cruise uh, and I would have saved uh, so much more money. Uh, this one trip alone, it would have made this device worth it. So what are the, some of these other use cases? Um, if you're an expat and you wanna stream from your favorite streaming services with your country's IP address, you can do that with streaming with Hulu, Netflix, or Amazon. This would be perfect device for you. If you work remotely, you can set up a personal site-to-site -site VPN using two slates for privacy and speed. Um, and this Slate 7 as well, as far as the look and feel of it, it's got this new LED screen and it's, it's also password protected, but you do have to be careful because the credentials are on the bottom. So be sure to change your password as soon as possible when you're setting this up. I also like that you can connect a power bank to this with a 20,000 milliamp hour bank. You can run this for about 12 to 15 hours, which is a perfect for a travel day. So in conclusion, if you are a traveler, someone who works remotely, um, or you're just looking for additional VPN privacy or even just better coverage in general compared to your existing network, this might be the right choice for you. I think it's a smart investment that I've made and hopefully that this was helpful for you. Thank you and have a great one.